my Patreoners, <laughs> how the survivors. Um, the, today, you guys, the survivalism classes in regards to the importance of having alternative places to store your preps. Y'all, I learned this the hard way. I've said it on other videos, but if you're new here and you're first time hearing um, my commentary and content on survivalism, this is probably one of one of the, uh, I will put it in the list of the important things as far as a lot of survivalism is concerned, especially when you're living in domesticated areas in these homes and stuff like that. This will be in the top five. Having places, other places to store your preps because when an SHTF occur, like, I'm just going to go based on my experiences being from Texas, living in Texas, going through the worst hurricanes, the worst tornadoes, the worst tropical storms, the worst floods ever. I'm talking about from Hurricane Harvey to Hurricane Katrina to Ike, Alicia, and even the last ones that, that was just here, I think last year. Yeah, last year was a couple of bad ones that hit Louisiana really bad. And then they come to our city and then it depletes our resources. But anyway... I've been through a couple of them where we lost all our preps inside of our house. And this is why I'm talking to you guys today in regards to making sure you have other place to store your preps. I have friends in Texas. They tell me where they store their things. They, they trust me a lot. They know I'm not going to ever tell nobody. But um, they store their preps all throughout the city. Because Houston is a big city. Texas is a huge state. Bunch of land everywhere. I mean... Like in just regular places, you know, but it's not places where people really go to, but they make holes in the in the land and they either store money. I have friends who store money in storages. I have friends who keep preps in storage. I have a, 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 a storage unit where I keep preps at. And I also have a storage unit in the country where my land is where I keep preps. Y'all, I have lost preps a couple of times doing that until I, the light turned on. I'm like, you need to do something different. If you have bug out locations other than where you are living, in the path of you going to your bug out location, coming from where you live, you need to have prep stored along that path. Everything doesn't have to be stored in the storage because even storage units, when the SHTF and the grid goes down, some people, some of those people live in those storage units that work there, but you might not be able to have access to your storage, especially if everything is run electrical and the grid is down and they don't have backup uh, generators, which a lot of these people don't. We give so much of our money to these people. They don't even have backup generators, you know what I'm saying, to to come on and uh, to be effective and when we really need it. Y'all, it just like the grid. They should have an alternative um, way of keeping us warm and cool. All the money we've given them throughout the years and all the money our people have given them throughout the years. So, it's very, very important. You might want to discuss this with your family. You might want to try to come up and think about it, you know, uh, and how you can do it. I know the cost of everything is so high. Even with my storage unit, y'all, they have gone up on it. I'm telling you, I was paying... $50, now it's up to 70 74 And every month they keep going up and up, and I'm like, oh, God, what do I do? I don't want all my preps in one place. And I said, well, maybe I can start storing, storing a lot of them in the ground. I do have places where I do some of that, but I don't try to put all of them there. <laughs> you know, I try to have different places, two or three different places where I store my preps, you know. But I'm just saying that um, that's just shooting out ideas and things that I do. It's very important, y'all. We work hard. We work hard. We spend a lot of money on our preps. I mean, lots of money, lots of time. It's a lot of labor involved. I know it's nothing to play with. I did it for years alone. <laughs> I'm telling you, and my daughter got so tired of storing those candy goods. Every time I would go to the grocery store, which I call the market, every time I go to the market, I'm talking about it was H-E double hockey stick storing that stuff. First of all, from the cashier, from the time I pay for it to my trunk, I had to put it in the trunk, then taking it out the trunk, put it in the house. And then sometimes from taking it out the trunk to put it in the storage unit. Then when you get to the storage unit, you got to properly place it and label it and organize it. Organize it. That's another thing, y'all. Make sure you have your preps organized. 
I have canned goods from way back about five, six years ago. You know, you want to make sure you label in these things if they're if they're not already labeled and you're putting them up front and you put your new stuff to the back. Or if you boxing it like I do, you, you put labels on those boxes. These are old preps and you put the time and dates on them. And then you have boxes. These are new preps and you put the time and date on them. This this is very, 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 very important. I hope this helps you. You know, we all are in for the fight of our lives, dealing with this nasty political party that just won't go away. Trying to ruin, not trying, ruining our lives. And we just don't know y'all. I don't put my trust and faith in no politician. I don't trust them as far as I see them. I don't. Watch this world. Keep your faith in God, first of all, and continue to pray. Pray and pray and pray and fast. Watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Purify your water before you use it. And y'all keep surviving. Sandhair.com.